Hi guys, uh, greetings of the day, myself uh, Vijay Tavardhan and welcome to my YouTube channel. And uh, in this today's session, we are going to have a small discussion about uh, the construction of isometric projection for the given example, which is like this. Uh, two rectangular plates are placed centrally with the dimensions of uh, LBH inside the brackets and uh, 100 millimeter, 60 millimeter and 20 millimeter and 100 millimeter, 40 millimeter and thickness 20 millimeter. So that the longer edges are parallel draw the isometric projections of the combination. Now according to the given condition one can draw the required orthographic projections of top front and side views like this and after which we need to construct 100 by 60 first as a rectangle and then the thickness is uh, increased to 20 millimeter and one more slab of 100 by 40 millimeter rectangle of a slab thickness of 20 millimeter should be placed. Now let me show you how to do the isometric projections of the same using a line command with 0.5 as a thickness and a continuous line. So let me construct a 100 by 16. So for which 100 and angle is 30, 60 angle is 150, 100 angle is minus 150 and 60 angle is minus 30. So now one can see that we have got the required construction. And now uh, selecting this edge, I am going to draw the thickness of a line of uh, 20 millimeter that is going to represent the slab height. Now this is going to be the slab height. Then using only these two edges, using a move command, I am going to switch on the move. I am going to move this line from here to here with a copy on so that I want it on the both ends. And this is going to place at the end point of a line like this. Now using a line command, I am going to join all the visible edges. Now one can see that 100 by 60 rectangle has been completed with a thickness of 20 millimeter. This is going to complete, uh, complete the rectangular slab of first one. And the second slab of 100 by 40 for thickness of 20. Now I'm going to a most user friendly shortcut. Uh, using a move command, I'm just moving this uh, base from here and I'm going to reconstruct it separately. Now one can see that this is going to be the construction. I'm going to place it somewhere here. And uh, after positioning this line, now you can see these two edges are uh, 40 or 60 millimeter. Now what I'm going to do is what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, select these two edges which are of 60 millimeter and reduce it to a distance of uh, 40 millimeter. By doing so, it is going to be converted to 40 millimeter. But however, this line length is also going to be reduced to 90 and you can increase it again to 100 millimeter. Now one can see that 100 by 40 millimeter lines we are going to get it. Then again, using a line command, uh, using a uh, Thickness of this slab is 20 millimeter. We will draw a line which we have done the steps over here. We will repeat the same step and selecting these two lines using a move command. I am going to move this from top height to the bottom height. A copy is going to be made like this using a line command. Now I am going to connect up all the required edges like this. And after which I am going to select this uh, slab, then make use of a move command, switch off the move copy. Then move it in such a way that using the midpoint of this line and it should be positioned on the midpoint of a line over here like this. Now one can see that the isometric view or isometric projection of the given combination is completed. Then using the trim command or whatever the invisible edges are there, it can be trimmed or it can be retained as a thin line if it is required. Then selecting these edges that is uh, these lines, the isometric view. Uh, using a scale factor of 0.8164 that is isometric scale, one can reduce it to isometric projection like this. Now one can say that the isometric projections of the given combination is completed. Now if you are liking this video, you please press the like button and also you can contact me at any point of time to solve this problem if you are having any sort of doubts. And please do share this video to all your engineering students and also you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and also you can give a comments and also please Press the bell icon if you are interested to get the more and more video updates. And thank you once again for watching my videos in the YouTube channel. Thank you guys.